Hey, Christ Community Church family. This is Pastor LaVert here. I'm here with my lovely wife, Kelly Parker. And um, we've been thinking about different ways that we can communicate to the church body about the different things that's happening within our ministry. There are a lot of things taking place. And so one of the ways that we felt that we can communicate and be connected with you guys is to send out this weekly update. And so every week, uh, Lord willing, we're planning to send some form of an update just to make sure everybody is in the know of what's taking place at Christ Community Church. Uh, before I go into the updates, one of the things that I felt compelled to do was just remind us of our mission and our core values as a ministry. And so when we began to look a little bit more closely at, at our ministry and began to really think about what God is calling us to do, we began to, to feel and to sense that God is calling us to um, seek, serve, and transform our community to love Christ and to love others. In other words, that God has called us not to be passive, but to be aggressive, to seek for opportunities, um, to serve people, and be a part of the transformation of the gospel in our community. And we know that one of the things that God wants us to do is to help people fall in love with Christ and then also to help people fall in love with one another. And so that's our mission as, as a ministry. Now this statement comes from two portions of scripture. Um, the first one is in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. This is called the Great Commission. This is where Jesus tells us to go out and make disciples of all nations and to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and of the, and of the Holy Spirit. And then to teach them to observe all that Jesus has commanded us. And so this mandate, this commission, is given to the church, um, again, to be intentional and to be aggressive about making sure that we communicate gospel truth. The second portion of scripture that fuels our, our um, mission statement comes out of Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 39. Let me read it for you. Um, this portion of scripture says, And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greater first commandment, and the second is like it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, Matthew 28 is called the Great uh, Commission. Matthew 22 is called the Great Commandment, uh, because this is where Jesus helps us understand that all of the law can be boiled down to two simple requirements. One is to love God with all of our being, and the second is to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we feel compelled um, as a church body to be on mission to uh, help people understand and walk in these dynamics of loving God and loving our neighbors. So we are seeking um, to serve and then be a part of the transformation of our community to walk out, to flesh out uh, this commandment that God, that Christ has given us. So that's what we are about as a ministry. We have several core values as a ministry, and the main one is based out of John chapter 15, and it's our dependence on Jesus. And as a ministry, we really believe that we have to depend on Jesus for everything. Our um, other values can be described in the acronym LOVE, live by faith, being open to learn, being very compassionate, and having excellent follow through in everything that we do. So that's what we're about, Christ Community Church family. Uh, we're about seeking, serving, and transforming our community. Uh, we're about helping people fall in love with God, helping people uh, love each other. And we're committed to these values of being dependent upon the Lord, of uh, living out our faith, of being teachable, being open to learn, uh, of being compassionate, and, um, and also making sure that we follow through with excellence. And so that's what we are about as a ministry. And I just felt compelled to make sure that I put this before our face every now and then, just to remind us what we're about as a ministry. So now I want to transition to our weekly updates. There are a lot of things that we need to communicate with the church body. Um, the first thing is, I'm, I'm sure everybody has heard about our brother Joe Hope and um, about his passing. Um, he passed last week. He's now with the Lord. And on the one hand, we're really excited and I'm happy that he's no longer struggling and going through the pain of this life. And uh, certainly we are glad that he's with Jesus now. But at the same time, of course, we mourn and we're, we're, we're going to miss our brother and just the blessing he's been to our body. And I want to encourage you to still be thinking of Sister Willie Ella and her family as they go through this 
um, this difficult time. Uh, we are going to celebrate his life, and there are a number of different ways that you can participate in that. Um, on Sunday, July 12th, there's a public viewing of his body. That's going to take place between 12 o'clock and 5 o'clock p.m., and during the hour of 3 to 4, the family is going to um, be at the viewing as well. So there's going to be family visitation between 3 and 4. And so you can participate in that on Sunday, July 12th, um, again from 12 to 5, and then family visitation from 3 to 4. Um, his service, the celebration of his life, is going to take place on the following day, which is Monday, July 13th. Uh, the wake is going to start at 10 a.m., and then the service is going to start at 1030. And so we are inviting um, you to come out and be a part of the celebration of his life. Um, both the viewing and the service is going to take place at Thomas Smith Funeral Home. The address to Thomas Smith Funeral Home is 14601 St. Clair, that's Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. Again, everyone is invited to come out and to um, be a part of the celebration of his life. But if you are unable to make it or maybe perhaps you uh, don't feel um, comfortable uh, in this climate of being in, in the gathering of people, you can also live stream the service. Uh, you can live stream the service on Facebook by simply going to Thomas G. Smith Funeral Home Cleveland. You look that up on Facebook. And um, if you go there uh, between 10 and 1030, there should be information about how you can access the live stream service for Brother Joe Hope. Um, so, again, that's going on Facebook and looking up Thomas G. Smith Funeral Home Cleveland. And you uh, could be able to participate through live stream if you're not going to go uh, to the service in person. Also on Sunday, July 12th, we're going to be participating in a community prayer gathering. We're going to be partnering with City Church to pray for our community and world. Um, this will be, again, Sunday, July 12th from 4 to 5 p.m. And the location will be the Peace Park at 2843 Washington Boulevard, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. Also this Sunday, the Children's Ministry will be meeting with the children over Zoom. And that will take place from 1215 to 1245 for ages 4 to 8 and 1250 through 120 for ages 9 to 12. So um, make sure that you check your text messages and email for information about how to access that through Zoom. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to fill out the survey. Uh, we sent out a survey a few weeks ago just trying to assess our body's uh, response to us transitioning back into the building. We thank you for taking the time to do that. We are going to communicate the results of that survey. We're working on the letter that's going to go out next week. That's going to communicate, um, one, a formal response from the church on when and how we're going to transition back into the building. But then also it's going to communicate, um, it's going to reveal the results from um, the survey that was taken a few weeks ago. And so you guys could be looking out for that. That's going to be coming soon. Uh, sometime next week, you guys are going to receive that letter that communicates how we're going to transition back and also give the results of the survey in some form um, as well. So you guys could be looking out for that. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, fill out that survey and giving us your response. We really appreciate it. Uh, the last thing that I want to communicate is we're in a new teaching series. Uh, we're in a teaching series called Reconcile. And uh, what we're dealing with in this series is we're dealing with the issue of racism. And we're dealing with it from the perspective of the gospel. And we're going to talk very specifically about how the gospel helps us um, deal with the issue of racism. So we're asking our church body to, to do two things during this series. Uh, number one, we're asking for our church body to pray. Uh, we're asking that you would pray that God would give us wisdom to discern how he's calling us to represent him during this time. Uh, we don't want to be passive. We want to make sure that we're being intentional about representing the king during this time. But we're asking God for wisdom. And so we're asking the church body to join with us in praying um, that we will be able to discern how the Lord is leading us to represent him during this time. And then the second thing is, obviously, we're asking you to study with us. And one way that we're encouraging um, the body to study with us is by providing the study guide. And so every week we're going to post a study guide 
that you can use to go alongside the message just to dig deeper into the things that we're studying. So we hope that this will become a way to kind of keep everyone, get everyone engaged with the study, a way for us to kind of study on a deeper level uh, because this is a very important topic. So again, um, the study guide will be available um, on our webpage, worshipccc.com, and you can access that and use that as a guide as we go through this through this series. So we're excited from the perspective that uh, we're looking forward to how God is going to lead us to represent him in the community. As we mentioned earlier, we feel that God has called us to have an impact and an influence and a presence in the community for the gospel. And so from that perspective, we're excited about what the Lord is going to do. And so we're looking forward to the study. So again, thank you so much, uh, Christ Community Church. We love you guys. Um, you guys mean a lot to us. And um, again, we're just thinking through multiple ways that we can um, stay connected with the body. We look forward to seeing everybody in person. Until then, we'll make sure we communicate what's taking place in our ministry. God bless you.